Hello there, Fellowship of the Fire. I'll be here. I'm smoking. You know what? I'm not entirely sure what it is. I got the dog just finished eating. <laughs> um, not feeling quite good. Um, been sick. Uh, anyway, I'm finishing a bowl of who knows what. I think is choc um, chocolates and cream from Boswell's. By I'm following Jay's let's call it routine to just pack the pies with some tobacco. And, and well it works like drying out the tobacco and we all know that uh, most of the time it's, it's a handy thing to do and I was a little bit lazy or impatient let's say to just wait it for drying and then pack it up so I just pack them it will dry out, dry out a little bit and then I'll enjoy it problem is I will unlikely remember what I packed This is gonna be a bit of response, and I hope that I'm gonna be able to fit um, the video response plus um, the question that I have in under five minutes or so uh, without having to talk uh, insanely quick. But it's gonna be a bit of response uh, mainly to the pi um, pipe revival, um, to the daily pouch, and what he uses to carry on his pipe and he showed his pouch. So the first pouch that I had was this one. It's a normal pencil case, but what I like about this one was well padded and it opened up like this. I like that, I really like that. But you have not another pocket there. Uh, but as silly as I am, you have to have something that is tight this is just a pencil case so I went online and I found this lovely pouch that says Bowen there I'm sure it's a knockoff because I went from China and it cost me like nine bucks it's quite handy because um, you put I put the pipe cleaners here and the pipe tool here or something or some other things here and then here you can carry on the tobacco or pipe tool here I, I actually put the tobacco some bags of tobacco here and then it has space for two pipes and the pipe tool right here. The problem is that if you want to fit a Mario Grandi there, it ain't gonna. You have a pipe like this, it's not gonna, you're gonna have to force it in and I didn't like that. So since the first one was so successful, the first pouch that I had was um, so good, I figured out what the heck, I should find just a bigger one. And this is it, and this is actually what I'm carrying on these days. Um, in it, you'll find plenty of room to carry whatever you want. Even two Mario Grandis will be easily there. I carry a couple of um, these um, pouches and some uh, wet tissues that are dry. So when I the pipe goes out, I just put it in uh, as a cork, let's say. So I can lay it up later on. I carry a pipe rest that I rarely use, plastic ones. My pipe tool. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. My pipe tool, um, I screen for when it's windy. Um, an extra softy beads and down there. Um, my emergency lighter because I usually go with uh, my SIPO, but just in case, and several bags of tobacco, Ziploc bags, and two or three pipe cleaners. So there you have it. The topic that I had in mind, it was thanks to a storm wave, um, video response to one of the 10 set of questions. And what it got me thinking was that he, when he replied about the, the t tattoos and the ink, he mentioned something that made me think. And he mentioned that uh, 
he kind of um, disliked some tattoos that they were um, done way too much and with this it means that it becomes extremely common and it struck me the idea of how sometimes we more often that we want to admit perhaps pretend to be or to try to like to be so unique so you have something that you want to be unique but at the same time at exactly the same time the same people with all the different things you try to fit in and have what everybody else has and that can relate with behavior or even things you want to have a pipe that is unique and, and custom made that is only for you but also have to have a I don't know when Pi Fran uh, CHS start buying Mario Grandis, everybody start buying Mario Grandis, me included. Um, or Hackert, so I, will, I would love to have an OMS Hackert and those kind of things. So this duality, let's call it, to be unique and fitting also in a group, sharing something, um, having the same thing. Um, you can relate that with music. You like some sort of music and sometimes uh, if if that particular song is played every single day and is everyone start liking it, you start stopping liking it. Mm -hmm. And even 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 more so, pipe smoking. I've heard some comments of people saying that if actually this become mainstream and everybody starting having uh, liking pipe smoking, they might actually drop out on the lifestyle or hobby or whatever you want to call it. I wouldn't know. Let me know what you think. As always, my friends, bye-bye.